hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have 2 to the power of c plus 2 to the power of 3c is equals to 10 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here first we convert this exponential equation into the cubic equation form uh, so for this we rewrite this equation as this is 2 to the power of c plus here uh, we use the exponent law and we move this c inside the term and it will be written as 2 to the power of c and its whole cubed and this is equals to 10 and now further in the next step uh, you see here this equation will become uh, exponential equation uh, with the uh, exponential term is 2c and now here in the next step uh, we make some little bit substitutions here uh, and we convert this into the cubic form so here we will take x is equals to 2 to the power of c so uh, when we take uh, x is equals to 2 to the power of c then our above equation is written as this is x plus this will be written as x cubed and this whole equation equals to 10 and now further in the next step you see here this equation will become cubic equation in x variable so, the, uh, so now here we rearrange the terms and we move this 10 in the left hand side and it will be written as x cubed plus x and this is minus 10 is equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, here uh, in order to solve further we break here uh, the term minus 10 and it will be written as x cubed plus x and we write this 10 as minus 2 and minus 8 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here further we make the pair of uh, x cubed with minus 8 in this way this is x cubed minus 8 and we make the pair of these two terms uh, it is x minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further we rewrite this equation as uh, first you have this is x cubed minus 8 we write 8 as 2 cubed and plus this is our x minus 2 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step uh, we uh, need uh, here the cubic formula to solve further uh, we know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square here we apply this cubic formula and now you see here the base of this term is over a and the base of this term is over b so according to these two values of a and b we apply the below cubic formula to the first term and after applying this cubic formula we write this term as first you have a minus b here our a is x minus b is 2 into a square here our a is x square plus a b so a is x and b is 2 plus b square b is 2 square and plus this is x minus 2 equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications uh, and it will be written as you see here from both of these terms we have x minus 2 be the common term so uh, when we take common x minus 2 we get the remaining values are here we get x square plus this is 2x plus this 2 square equals to 4 and plus this is 1 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as x minus 2 times of x square plus 2x plus this is 4 plus 1 becomes 5 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here uh, we divide this equation into the two cases uh, and the first case is we write x minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we write 
x square plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. From here, we easily get the value of x is equal to 2. And now here in this case, we back substitute the value of x. And in the start of the problem, you see here, we will take our x is equal to 2 to the power of c. And now uh, for back substitution, uh, we will get here, this is 2 to the power of c is equal to 2. And you see here the exponent of this 2 is 1. So now when we compare both of the exponents, so we get here our c is equal to 1. So this is the first real root of the given equation which we get here from first case. And now here uh, we solve this uh, quadratic equation and we get the other values of c from here. Uh, so uh, here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So uh, here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 2 and c equals to 5. And we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now here in the next step, we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here and it will be written as x is equals to minus b. The value of b is 2, so it will be written as minus 2 plus minus square root of b square. So b is 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 5 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. And now further in the next step we have x is equals to this is minus 2 plus minus square root of this is 2 square equals to 4 minus this is 4 times of 5 divided by 2. And now further in the next step we need more simplifications and uh, from here we will take common 4 inside the term and it will be written as minus 2 plus minus we know that the square root of 4 is equals to 2 times of this is uh, 1 minus 5 is equals to minus 4 and it is divided by 2 and here we uh, again take the square root on minus 4 and it will be written as here we break this fraction and it will become minus 2 over 2 plus minus this is 2 times of square root of 4 is equals to 2 and square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So this is cancelled out by this one and we get the value of x is equals to minus 1 plus minus this is cancelled out by this one and we get here uh, minus 1 plus minus 2 iota. So here we break this value into the two cases. The first case is we write x is equals to minus 1 plus 2 iota and here we write x is equals to minus 1 minus 2 iota. And here we back substitute the value of x and it is 2 to the power of c is equals to minus 1 plus 2 iota and from here we have 2 to the power of c is equals to minus 1 minus 2 iota. So because we solve this problem for the values of c for this we need to take the log on both of the sides. So when we take log on here it will be written as c times of log 2 is equals to log of minus 1 plus 2 iota and from here we get the value of c is equals to log of minus 1 plus 2 iota and its base is 2. So here this is our common log and uh, this is the uh, second root of the given equation and from here we again take log on both of the sides and we get here c times of log 2 is equals to log of minus 1 minus 2 iota and we get the value of c is equals to log of minus 1 minus 2 iota with base 2. So this is the other value of c. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.